Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Stardew Valley and to the Dapper Dell Farm, where we're going to start the day on by checking the weather. It's going to be clear and sunny, then the fortune teller thinks it's going to be probably bad. That's about annoyed. Mm, okay. And living off the land. Got a spa in your town? Relax and hold still in the steaming hot water to replenish your energy. Ah, feels good, don't it? Uh, yes, it does. Right, we've got some things we need to drop off. I'm really starting to think that I don't need to hold on to as many things as I do. Like the the high quality course, I'll just sell it, honestly. Um, ooh, 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 we've got a lot of things that we can harvest. Hooray, fantastic. Uh, you can go in there, as can you. As we're not going to have any good luck today, we may as well not bring that with us. Um, is there anything I want to take to Gunther? It's not really. I'm going to need to bring that out, obviously. Okay, I'm happy with this. Right, well, the first thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to plant this sapling. Now, the thing I was thinking about with the saplings is I've got spring, I can get a summer sapling, and then I've got fall. There are two saplings per season, so I could just have the opposite saplings at the top, and then I'd have all of the different types of fruit represented in this little area, and I think that would be rather lovely. Right. Oh, these are ready to harvest as well. I wasn't sure. These radishes. We've got a gold one. I don't think we need any gold radishes for anything, though. Right, okay. We've got these are needed for our uh, quality crops bundle, so I'll store that. You know what? I'm going to save one gold one of each. Purely, ooh, let me just take out any silvers. Purely because if someone requests it, then maybe I'd be able to just hand that over and get a better reward. I don't know, or maybe a birthday present or something like that. It's always useful. These are ready now. Oh, that's fantastic. These are going to produce so much money for us over the next little while. Uh, again, we'll save one, but the rest can go. In fact, most of this can actually go. Mm, I'm thinking, you know what? Let's grab all of the quality crops, all of the top quality things. They're coming out here, and they're going to go into their own l separate little chest. And for the time being, that separate little chest is going to be... Uh, can I put it up here, maybe? No? Can I put it over here? No? Okay, fine. Separate little chest. It can go there. There we go. Oh, no. Only one. There we go. Uh, no, no, no. Come on up back. You scallywag trying to sneak in there. There we go. Calm down, Snuffkin. I will come and water your your water bowl. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. Enjoy. Now, I'm not sure how much room we're going to need for our chicken coop. I'm hoping that it'll fit in, in here, honestly. Uh, I can pull that wall in. I can just have a little chicken coop in there. I can have a double thick path going down. It would probably be quite nice, actually. Uh, right, let's get back to harvesting, though. All of these I want on the lower level, so I can easily see. That one actually needs to stay. But let's see if I can get any decent quality crops here. There we go. Now, when it comes to fruit, I actually want to save them. Even if they're low, as well, especially if they're low quality. Let's see, have we got anything that needs to go in here? We've got that. We don't have a sweeper, but I'm going to be just carrying that around with me. Because those are so super useful as gifts. But I would like to drop off the low quality fruits. So I can just turn them into to better items. I mean, the melon is a fruit, but it's also really, really profitable. So I am going to sell that because I need a lot more melons. Uh, we need to get five before the end of summer, and I'm a little bit concerned about that, that we're not easily going to be able to get there. I should also really prioritize getting this hoe upgraded, too. Uh, there we go. It will cost us 4,000 to build the chicken coop. I think it's 4,000 at any rate. It's definitely a fair old bit of copper, so how about... Uh, sorry, um, to do the, the hoe. So we're not even in a position to do that yet. It's several hundred um, wood to get all of that done. So it's going to gonna take us a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and lay down a lot of fertilizer in here, though. Have I actually got any speed grow left? Let me just double check that. No. How do I make speed grow? 
Pine tar and a clam. Yeah, that's not happening. Sorry, but no. So we want a bunch of fertilizer then. Let's grab 15 fertilizer and that should be a good bit of the fertilizer that we need. Got a little bit more. Let's make another five. There we go. So six. And one, two, three. We need three more by the looks of it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so everything around there is now fertilized. Unfortunately, we have wasted those tomatoes because I, I did put, I think, a few of them were not on um, fertilized soil, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, there we go. That's all done. Drop that off. We don't need it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to water the crops. I strongly recommend never just telling yourself, because initially I was like, ah, you know, I can water it when I come back. I've got things I want to do, and it's already 10 p.m. Uh, 10 a.m. The thing is, if you think like that, you're at a very great risk of going out and, and telling yourself, I'm going to budget for it. I'm going to come back with enough energy to do everything I want to do today. And then not. And that sucks. I mean, it really is suckful. I used to do that a lot in Harvest Moon. I'd be like, ah, I'm fine, I'm fine. I, I can just go out and do a little bit of mining or do a little bit of fishing. And when I come back, it's all going to be good. And no, no, I have the greatest of intentions. But I am also a derp. Just, it's generally going to be safer if you don't try and play with, with fate like that. So that's, that's my bit of advice for today. All right, off we go. We are going to go and deliver some produce to Pierre. And then... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one thing I wanted to do. I don't know how often the mushrooms will grow. So why don't we go and check on that, actually? Close that. So I think there's at least... There's two mushrooms that we want for the exotic forage bundle. A red mushroom, a purple... Ah, uh, there's no purple one. A moral... No, actually, I don't think any of these are moral. That's a red mushroom. That's common mushroom. That is a chanterelle. Okay. So, we've got one red mushroom that we need. You're coming with us. You can go down here next to the other stuff that I definitely want to deliver. Everything else, except for the sweet peas. Let's move those around. They are all saleable goods. Except for you. Also, watering can. Watering, well, I don't know what I'm going to be doing today. Should I take the watering can with me? Probably not. It's probably just going to be taking up extra room in my inventory for no good reason. So I'll drop the watering can off. But I really do want to get that all upgraded. Why, my lord. Right. Let's be off. If I get enough money, then maybe, possibly, I could even get a new sword. But I would really like to get a lot of melons to guarantee that I'm going to get... Because I only actually need one... Ooh, cutting. Okay. Oh, George, you're looking happy. <sighs> How am I going to reach that ladder in the back? Oh, no, you're not going to put me in some sort of... Oh, you are. I. Uh, okay, maybe... Is George just going to be mean to Benny or... Here, let me help you, Mr. Mulner. Oh, dear. Oh, I can see what's going to happen here. George is like, what? Oh, no. Don't make me, don't make me have to go through this. This is a horrible situation to arbitrate. There you go. Ah, balls! I can see it! I can see it coming! George, hmm, I could have done it myself. And I can certainly move around on my own. How feeble do you think I am? Wow, I'm a bit of a creeper. Holy crap. Uh, Abak, were you watching us? Uh, I was. You did a kind thing there, Penny. It was a kind thing, but you should have left him alone. Now he's grumpy, and he is grumpy. And I'm just walking and mind my own business. Leave me alone. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna chicken out of this. This is a, this is obviously a, a real delicate situation. This happens a lot in real life. I've got a few friends who actually um, can't walk. They they have to use wheelchairs, and uh, I've also got. It's not quite the same thing, um, but I've also got several friends who are from ethnic minorities, and it's, it's this sort of thing where people, for example, my, my one Chinese friend, she's constantly being 
approached in shops while she's just looking through projects, just trying to make up her mind about it. But she's stood there for a while, and someone will come over, do you need some help? Do you want me to, to read anything for you? And, and she'll just turn around and say, no, you're all right, but she, she's, been, she's lived in Wales all her life. <laughs> she, she's more Welsh than some of the people who, who tried to help her out. But it's like, well, they're trying to be helpful, but they're also taking her upon themselves to offer that help without invitation. Now, the, the tricky thing here is he was pondering how to get it out, but he, all he was doing was wondering. Uh, yeah, he did seem a little bit sad about it, but from what I could tell, Penny offered her help, but then didn't wait for him to accept it. Just took it upon herself to help. And we're still moved him out of the way in order to... Now, that was... Wow, seriously crossing the line there. Don't do that to someone in a wheelchair. Don't just move them. That is like literally walking up behind a stranger, putting your hands on their hips and moving them. Just physically making them walk in a direction. It wouldn't be polite. No, no, it's not polite to a wheelchair user either, for obvious reasons. So I'm going to... As much as I think this is going to upset Penny, I... Uh, you should have left him alone. I think it was nice of her to offer to help. Offering to help would have been okay in the situation because he was he clearly had, was kind of talking to himself, oh, this is going to be a difficult task. You could have just offered and then waited. He could have, at worst, he would have said, no, I don't need your help. That would have been fine. But then you had to like get right in there. So I'm, I'm going to side with, with grumpy old man and I feel bad, but I... I to the best of my ability, I think this is the best. This is the correct choice. Not the best one, but... Oh, I guess you're right. I'm sorry, Mr. Mulner. It was rude, what I did. Oh, uh, no. Have I chosen badly? No, no. I'm sorry, miss. I shouldn't have gone so angry. Oh, I think I might have chosen well. Okay. It was actually very kind of you to help me out. Oh... This is a nice resolution. That's okay, Mr. Mulner. I understand. Poor old Mr. Mulner. It must be difficult to grow old. Um, I'd rather not think about it. I don't want to... Oh, I'd stick my head in the sand. Oh, I'd rather die young. Live fast, die young. Oh, what a day. What a lovely day, kind of thing. Or... Uh, it's just a different part of life. Hmm, that's why we should respect our... I'm, I'm just going to go with it's a different part of life. You don't just get respect because you're old. Yeah, you've lived a long time. But honestly, in our culture, it's actually easier to live longer than it is to die younger. So, no, you... Maybe maybe if it was some sort of Klingon or a Jem Hadar, then yes, okay. Wow, you're five years old. Bloody hell, you've seen a lot of warfare. You must be amazing at battle. Okay, that deserves respect. Just being old, though, that just means you've dodged dangers. The... It's a little bit different. Obviously, if there's been a world war, then yeah, okay, fair enough. You've been through some shit. But these days, I don't think you get a free pass just because you're old. I think that's, that's it's a little bit different now, but uh, it's definitely just a part of life. No, no, no reason to be all melancholy about it. You're right, we shouldn't ignore the reality of aging. I guess the sooner we come to terms with our mortality... Oh, whoa, 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 I said nothing about mortality. I'm never going to die. I was born when the stars were still young, and I'll be alive long after they've all died. The more time we can spend really living in the here and now. Yeah, that's true. For you mortals. Ah, uh, it must suck to die. Well, it was interesting talking to you, Vanvac. I should go. Take care, Penny. I, I hope this hasn't damaged our relationship. I actually thought it was very kind of you to offer. I just think you were a little bit bullheaded about doing it. I guess you have to rush around and, you know, be to and fro like that. I mean, you know, you humans got lives like mayflies by comparison. Must suck. Uh, here you go. Leah, you get a golden one. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. Also, Caroline, you can have one too. Oh, goodness. Are you sure? Yes, of course. I would have given it to Pierre to give to you, but I think he would have taken it as a gift from me, and then that would have been awkward, because I don't actually think he would have liked it. Uh, silly Pierre. Right, you can have all my radishes, my chanterelle, my very high-quality grape, my common mushrooms, my very high-quality corn, my moderately high-quality spicy berries. My, whoa, 1,750? Yes, you can have all of those melons. And you can have that corn, too. Seven off. Ye gads. That was good. Now then. 
I want mm, 15 at least. Uh, shall we go any further? Yes. 20. And I'll take 10 blueberries. Thank you very much, Pierre. At least we, me with enough money to actually get a new hoe. If I want to. Oh, well, I kind of do. Um, it's the 15th. How long does it take to mature? 11 days. Oh, it'll only give me a couple of days. It's, it's absolutely pointless. Radishes only take four days. Wheat only take four days. It costs very little. Like, wow. But I'd have to water it and it would be really annoying. Uh, five days. And it continues to produce after the first harvest as well. Um, but how many days? But that takes four days, and I'm only going to get two harvests out of it, but I've got 30 there. Pepper, you might actually be worth it. Or I could just buy... Well, it depends on how much the wheat goes for, really, I guess. Speed grow. I could. Oh, I've already got an apricot, actually. Oh, I should have bought speed grow. I should have put it down for the tree. What a derp I am. I'm not even sure if that would work, but I'd be willing to for science it, and I should have for science it. All right. Well, I'm not going to go for the hops at this point. I will go for the peppers, though. Yeah, I'll grab ten peppers too. There we go. Thank you very much, Pierre. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to do here? I don't think so. Let's check on the birthdays. See whose birthday it is next. Nothing special. Birthday? It'll be Sam's birthday in two days. Hmm. Sam is a guitarist, I believe. I have not seen anything even remotely passable as a musical instrument. That didn't belong to someone else. I mean, I've seen Abigail's flute, but I don't think she'd appreciate me taking that and giving it to Sam as a birthday present. I think that would sour our relationship pretty bloody quickly. Um, special forage for the mushroom, I believe. Or exotic forage, rather. Now we only need one of these two. Oh, I hope the mushrooms produce very quickly. Or oak resin, which we're already working on. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to be so good. Now, I really need these melon seeds to be very high quality. Um, because we're actually getting fairly close to finishing that one. We've got a couple of bundles that are really close to finishing now, actually. I'm very happy with this. Very happy indeed. And field research bundle. No, 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 no. Fodder. No, that's not it. Chef. There we are. Perfect. And how are we doing on the boiler room? We've already gotten that one. Geologist bundle. We just need a fire quartz. I mean, you an iron and a gold bar for the blacksmith man. We're actually getting reasonably near to completing that. I'm super, super stoked about that. Hey, Penny. Oh, I hope you don't feel too bad about what happened earlier. Are you just going to go and chill out? Oh, do you mind if I join you? Thank you. This looks special. Can I chat? Hi. Uh, nice weather, isn't it? Yeah, actually it is. It's not really my kind of weather, I'll be honest with you. I'm not, not a big fan of hot climbs. Uh, let's go and jump into the mine for a little bit. But then we'll swing past the bathhouse on our way out. Hey, Abigail. There we are. Hey, how do you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. You are always hungry whenever I meet you. You're not being fed at home or something. It's a great gift, thank you. Generally, if I'm hungry, I find something to eat. Or someone to eat. I, you know, I'm not too picky when I'm hungry. Thankfully for most people in my, near, in my close vicinity, I tend to snack very often on things that aren't people. And thus I never really get the hungry status. But, you know. But warned is forearmed. Hungry Havoc is a very dangerous one. There we go. Let's go and grab you. Ooh, cave cat. Nice. Really? This is an unlucky day? Fortune teller, you telling me fibs. Because 
I had something similar happen on the stream last night. It was like, oh yeah, it's, a, it's an unlucky day. Went down into the mine. Had the best mining expedition I've ever had. I like, came out with a new weapon and two rings. It was like, really? Unlucky? Your idea of unlucky and my idea of unlucky are very, very different things, Fortune Teller. Oh, maybe they're a, a, a sham. Maybe they're actually a bad fortune teller, and that's the point. Maybe I've been, like, saving up all my geodes for the days when they say, Oh, yeah, it's terrible, don't go out. And only take them out when they say, Yeah, it's great. And they're actually really bad at their job, and they're not in touch with the spirits at all. Oh, that would just... That would be funny, but also really annoying. Mostly funny, though. No. I've been told that it really doesn't matter one way or another when you attack those hermit crabs, you'll get the shell, oh right, you'll get the same chance of it proccing a crab either way. So, you know, worth, worth remembering. Hello. Nope. Anything interesting over here? I think it's a crate. More wood. Okay. That's not too terribly bad. You can always do with more wood and more rock. What the dickens? What is that on your head? What are you? What kind of crazy specialist? <sighs> I've already got a small magnet ring, but I will accept. I've now got two small magnet rings. I hope they affect stack. Because otherwise, it's kind of pointless to have two small magnet rings. But I'm getting very low on energy. I'm only going to go until I run out of energy, and then I'm going to head straight back up. But uh, I am actually genuinely starting to wonder if that fortune teller just doesn't know a thing about telling fortunes. Knows quite a lot about scamming people, though. Very good business person. Too good. Uh, actually, I've got cave carrots. Aha! Nature provides. I'll see if I can just get down to the fifth level and then just go the rest of the way. Hello? Nope. There we go. Looks like I am getting down to the fifth level after all. Oh. Two ways down to the fifth level. Anything good down here? Before I leave? Anything really super awesome? Any chance I can smash open that might have rings in them? No? Okay, fine. So, uh, it's your lucky day today, Slimes. I'm leaving you alive. I am a good avac. Ah, it feels nice to just not murder something. It happens so infrequently in this game. Right, I am going to visit the bathhouse, and she'll bring you back when I am done. And we will go and plant all of these seeds. Maybe do a little bit of work around the farm as well. Today has turned into a long, bloody day. Oh, we've got some wiggly worms. A new book! Hurrah! Fantastic. I like new books because they don't take up any room in my inventory. Yeah, good times. Oh, all done. Ooh, we've got loads of honey. Fantastic. I need to keep one of these for um, a bundle. Lots of poppy honey. You scared off one crow. Well done. It would have destroyed my, my poppy. I would have been sad. Right, okay. Well, we can drop off two of these. One, two. And let's see. Bug meat we don't really need. I don't think there's pretty much any. Well, you can sell that one as well. Um... No, we don't need to worry about anything else. I'm just going to plant all of my seeds. Now, the poppies, I the, sorry, the blueberries I'm worried about because it's 13 days. That'll take us up to the 28th of this month, which is the day where it all stops, basically. So, I think what we can do with that is prioritize putting that on the speed grow area, I think. You're staying down there, going up there. There we go. Right, poppy, uh, sorry, blueberries, speed grow. Prioritize the speed grow. There we go. That's done. Now, the melons prioritize. I know it doesn't give me the most efficient area for watering by far. But, there we go. We've got all of those planted, and you can just go up around here. Ah, oh, sod it. Yeah, you can go there as well. No? Oh, well, there's something already there. Well, scallywags. And one there as well. Okay, well, that's as good as I can do it for now. Should be okay. We've got a little bit more room for other crops, but we should get more corn very near future, which will be fantastic for us. 
Like, wow. Uh, get you done, and you. Really doesn't take that much effort. Though, I have had it confirmed that the watering can uses twice as much energy when you use it in its upgraded mode, but it waters three tiles. Uh, don't have any info on whether it uses twice as much water or three times water or anything like that, but given that it lasts for so long, I strongly suspect it doesn't use any extra water. Um, it just uses twice as much energy as a, a single tile. So if you're watering at least two tiles, it's more efficient, or rather it's, it's neutral if it's two tiles to use the watering can in its kind of power mode. But if it's one tile, don't do it. It's it's a massive waste. Um, well, there we go. I'm fairly happy with that, honestly. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to do. No, there isn't. Hurrah! Ooh, jelly. This is also good. Because, let's see, um, blueberry will have you soon. Quality crops hopefully will have five melons, but they're soon. Artisan bundle. Honey and jelly, both here. Truffle oil, cloth, goat cheese, Various fruits. Um, the apricot. Oh, man. That's going to be a pain. Uh, I actually only need six. So one, two. Apple, three. So then I'm going to need three. Cheese, goat cheese, cloth, and these sorts of things. Uh, I'll find something out to do with that. Uh, as far as the boiler goes, yeah, we're still the same on that. Exotic forage bundle. We're probably going to get that one done soon. So then it's just going to be the fall and the winter bundles. I've already got one in the winter bundle, just from being on that very cold level of the mine. The fall, that's just going to be foraging, honestly. So, by winter, we'll probably have the craft room complete, and that's going to be very, very nice. Come nice enough, Ken. Let's have a skip, then. It has been a very long day in this episode. Ooh, level 5 farming. Choose a profession. Tiller, crops are worth 10% more. Or rancher, animal products are worth 10% more. Hmm. Well, the thing is, I, I wasn't really planning on going heavily into animal products. I was I was more thinking of, of doing the ranching. But the thing is, if you go into animal products, it takes less work. I mean, right now, Tiller is going to give me the better return. Because I'm doing crops and I'm not doing animals at all. But once I've actually got things set up to do animals, would it be better to do rancher? That's a very good question, and one I don't have an immediate answer for. I think I will go with Tiller. But uh, I'd love to hear from anyone who's playing the game themselves in the comments whether you chose Rancher and which of the two you think was better for you. Wow. From two poppy honey, we got 760. The bees are making us a lot of money. This is good. Once you've got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of bees, it's going to just be money all the time. But that's going to be it for this episode. I am pretty happy with the progress that we've made so far. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit of a long one considering it was only one day, but uh, we did get a lot of interesting things done. And you know what the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this off. That can go in there and I'll take the stone as well. Uh, that can come with me. Oh, uh, actually, we need to make some more jelly as well, don't we? There we go. I'll pop that back. I really need more of those. So badly need more of those. But uh, that'll have to wait. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a comment to let me know what you enjoyed and possibly a like on the video if you want to see more in the future. But until then, do take care.